and that, my friends, are 600 horsepower on action. <laughs> In this video, we're going to show how we're going to install turbo on this Hayabusa. Uh, so this is uh, 2008, uh, generation 2. And uh, we're going to install a Pro Boost turbo set on this bike. It's not super hard and we're going to show you everything what you need to do. Very nice, let's start from the down to the top. Easier said than done. Yes. Oh. <laughs> brand new oil. Yeah, brand new. We can sell those on eBay. Here we have the radiator. It's leaking. Yeah. Oil cooler is off. Good job. Now we're gonna remove the exhaust. hose. And now the gas tank. Yeah. There you go. All right. And then we need to remove the air filter box. Okay, then that one. I'm gonna put some kind of mark here so I know. The black one is up. Yeah, there's the throttle cables. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's down. This is pretty clean. Yeah. Not much dirt on it. And then what? Then we can remove the diapers. <laughs> Heat diapers. Oh. Cover those. Yeah, now we're gonna remove the front sprocket cover. Just like that. So we're gonna take the front sprocket now off. Nice.
Good job. Now we just drop the engine guys. We have removed all the wirings from here, from the motor. And yeah, I think we are good. Yep. So that one, we need to open that one and that one and that one in the front. And then we're done. Of course, other side the same. The right side of the bike, you can see there is this weird looking special kind of, special kind of nut, what you have to take off. And we have to build now tool for that. You can buy the right kind of tools from uh, Suzuki stores. Like that. If something happens, I put the tire here. If. Yeah. Just if. Do you remember, it was front up and then down. Okay. Oh. Uh huh. Now down. Coming down. Yep. yep. Easy. One inch. Now it's on the table. That's good. Wait. The engine is on the table. Unbelievable. Hayabusa engine. There is our turbo. Yeah, open it up. Every boys and girls dream. <laughs> I believe here is all the parts what we're gonna need. The exhaust pipe. Yeah. <laughs> Here we got all the parts what we need. And we're gonna show you how to install this on this motor. Uh, but first we need to clean it because we don't want this dirt inside the motor. Let's do that first. Make sure that you seal the engine uh, with the tape or with the paper because we don't want the water and the soap inside the engine also. I cover these wirings with the tape also. Fresh and clean. Okay, uh, we're gonna start from the down to the top and then back down again. Uh, first, we're gonna change the glut springs. Okay, there we go.
This is pretty simple. What the fuck? <laughs> And after that we gonna we gonna replace this part with this Yeah You have to clean this and good tool is knife like this but be be gentle with this don't don't scratch the surface because there is always a chance that it starts leaking after that design to seal the motor parts industrial silicone loctite These blades come here. Awesome! Very good job! Then we're gonna remove this cylinder head cover. I believe that's the right word for this. Okay, now it's coming. And then we need to open this and turn the engine on the right position. As you can see, this is so soft that we can't open this. So we go to the plan P now. Yeah, good job. Good job. Good job. We have to turn the engine until we get the number one. Same level with this. It should be 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. It's good. Then I can remove the chain dragger. And then I think this is chain adjuster. A bit stuck, but now it's good. Yeah. We need to remove this. And the right way is start from the edge to the middle. Don't take uh, the bolt off completely. Little by little from the edge to the middle.
Be careful. Don't drop anything. <laughs> That's a good idea to mark those so you know and there is also intake lift that one off okay. super good job man very nice very awesome then the next one same technique then we need to drop the chain Then I put it back, so we don't lose it. And then I believe that we can open the head bolts. Always make sure you have a proper tools, so you don't ruin the bolts. Yeah. We need to remove these bolts, and same technique than before, from the uh, from the edge to the middle. Yeah, like this. This first, next there. Yeah, and cross. Yeah. No. No. That one. Okay, try now, yeah, good, good, beautiful, good job. Now we can see the pistons. The pister. Yeah, a little bit dirt there. And this. We're gonna change the head yeah. gasket. Yeah, we can change that one to this one. But not yet. Yeah, but not yet. We can take it off. Now we can remove the cylinder. Oh. It's like a grill. Too much towing. Not good for the engine. Use full power. Yeah, just the pistons now in the same level. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. Alright. Now you can remove the cylinder. Messy girl. That's good. Good job. Oh. That is the old one. And here 
we got the new one. There it goes. Here, like yep. that. But not yet. We have to clean this first. We have to clean this first. And make sure that you clean this surface. You can use knife like this, but don't scratch the surface. You need to get all this black, black stuff off from the cylinder. Juha is doing it right now. You need to clean all these black spots from here also. And maybe you can clean you know, those. Unbelievable. Is it, stuff. is it easier now to clean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next we're gonna install this spacer disc under the cylinder because we wanna lower the pressure. Use here industrial silicone also. there so it's not in our way oh no that bad nyt vähän pyty cylinderi ketjun päältä lisää normally these pistons are almost the same level with this deck. But now, because of the spacer disc, there is more space. And more space means more air and fuel mix. And that means more power. That's, yes. Yeah, that is like that. Mother of all head caskets. Head caskets. This goes here. That one goes there. <coughs> now the chain won't drop like that. Yes, it's water. Yeah. Then we can tight the cylinder bolts and the tool. What you will need is here. In Finland, we call this momentti avain, and straight translate is moment wrench. Remember when we open this, we open the bolts from the from the edge to the middle. No, now we're gonna, we're gonna tie it from the middle to the edge. Yes. And and the moment what we're gonna use is uh, 25, one round, then 35, one round, and then 50 one round and that's enough. Yeah, you can see the scale on this moment wrench. 
So there is uh, about 25 now. Okay, that was the sound. Yep. Yep. These bolts also. Sweet home Alabama. And after that we need to turn the engine in the right position again. Here you can see the mark there. It's now good. Is it the right side? From yeah. Here, exhaust side. The number one, the same level as before, same level as the deck. And then that one. Take the loose away first and then from the side to the middle again. Uh, this chain extensioner is pretty tricky because this is automatic so we should maybe open these uh, little screws there and then try to press it down. Like that. Yeah. Cool. And now when we install it to the motor, we release that one. Yeah, that one. And then this pops pops up and oh, this goes here. Now comes the tricky part you have to release we find out last time that tool like this it's pretty good for the job this is the most retarded system what you know Suzuki has ever made that's fucking for sure good job after one week <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. Now this. Close it up again. This hose will come somewhere. Somewhere here. Yeah, somewhere there. So we need to drill hole there off now. Maybe we should mark the bolts. <coughs> Good. Let's clean it. Hole is coming there. Between the oil pan and motor, uh, just in case we're gonna put a little bit industrial silicone again. We're gonna install the motor back to our bike again. And because we raised the cylinder, we have to modify the frame. We have to drill the holes one millimeter bigger than before. And after the holes, we're gonna lift the spike to this table and then install the motor. Stop. 
Yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah. yeah. This is the worst. Now the fun part starts because we start installing all these. Mm mm mm. God damn. I think this is gonna be the first part. X toss and uh, turbo. These are the bolts what ProBoost send us. So we're gonna use these of course. The hand of God. <laughs> it's a bit heavy, can you help me out? Ooch, ooch, ooch. Best sound in the world. Ooch. This oil hose goes there. We have to cut it a little bit shorter. Uh, next one we can install the oil cooler. We can replace this hose with this new one. We also have here adapters like this. We can see that here we need this ceiling. And the second adapter goes to this oil cooler. There's place for it. And the next part, what we're gonna install is these. Bling bling bar. Yeah, awesome. Exit hose pipe, down pipe, something like that. Notice that we have to bend the old oil hose a little bit. Next, we're gonna install radiator. Yep. Okay. The tool, there's the tool. And we can connect the water hoses. This side is now good. X thousand turbo done. Oil cooler and the radiator is good. And the next one is this uh, pressure tube, pressure line, and it, it comes somewhere here like that. And it goes through from there up here. There is a couple ways to do this. Uh, one way is that you make some sort of hole in this box. So then you have space for the tube. Uh, we can take this box off completely. So then we have space for that tube. Let's do it next. What's more better looking pipe now. Oh, nice! Ah. 
Right. Here you go. Yeah, like that. Um, now we got everything here done. Uh, before we move up there, we can uh, rebuild everything down here. We Now I think we have done all the wiring and we got the super awesome air filter on that house. Uh, the next is uh, injection. Oh shit. Like that. And the next what we need to do is connect these throttle cables. The pressure box. And this comes right here. And this tube goes there. I believe this is a air temperature meter. We have to take this off from the old air box and place it there. Now we need to replace that black hose right there with this blue one. Then the last one is this. I don't. I have no idea what this is, but <laughs> I know that it goes somewhere there, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can replace this little shit box right here with this one. Yep. You can take it off like that, and now this. And now there is a tiny black hose and then there is this turbo pressure meter We just remember that we have to. That this black box need to be behind here. You can't run this engine before you get new software here, and uh, we have already sent before this box to the Pro Boost, and they have change it, the software somehow. And now it should be good. Are we good? I think so. Yeah. Now the gas tank and then we can fire it up. Oh shit, no! Oil <laughs> and uh, coolant. Let's, let's do it first. We're gonna use only water, so if you wanna fill the system with coolant, you can do that also. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh my god!
Do you want to hear what 600 horsepower sound like? I'm gonna show you. This is our second uh, Turbo Hayabusa. And the bike is of course Hayabusa 2008. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 